Hello everyone, welcome to my Game Maker Selling tutorial series. I am sorry for taking so long, but in this part I will finally be covering rings. Which includes uh, getting rings and losing rings. And the physics that come along with it. So first, let's add a ring sprite. We'll just create a group called Level Objects. and add a sprite which is called sprite ring and a link for the for this ring will be in the description for now let's center it as well right then we will create an object ring which is the ring that is just floating around doing uh, stuff and it will of course have the ring sprite so let's start by saying image speed, so the animation speed equals 0 0.16 maybe uh, 0 0.1 and that's just it. When we collide with object sonic, so collision with object sonic, instance destroy, so destroy this ring, and glow.rings plus equals one. Glow.rings is the amount of rings you have, and that variable uh, we need to initialize first, which we are going to do by creating a new object called object in it which uh, stands for initialize and when the game starts global rings equals zero else the game doesn't know uh, what amount of rings to start with and just be sure that this object in it is in the first room of the game so here it is just room test, but if you create a title screen, which is the first room in the game, add it there, else you will get errors. And now let's place a few rings in the room and see if it actually works. Yeah, it works perfectly. Just to draw uh, the amount of rings we currently have I will do that in object sonic but you can remove this line of code if you don't want it to draw so here let's say uh, draw text view x view 0 if you are going to work with views you will need, you will need that uh, plus then let's say view y view plus 10 so the uh, vertical border of the view the top border and plus 10 pixels string global rings now as you can see here it draws the amount of rings we have which is 8 now but you can't lose rings yet we're going to do that now. First, let's create an object called object ring loss, which also has the ring sprite and also has an image speed of 0 0.1. And now, when Sonic gets hit, player gets hit. Sorry, it's in the script. Player get it. We have a certain uh, code that will handle the ring loss, which is here from Sonic Retro. And this uh, code will create the amount of rings uh, that uh, when you get hit, and it will also apply the physics. So let's create a I mean, copy this and 
paste it here right uh, these are all temporary variables since we do not use them in any other code so let's initialize them as uh, temporary variables because that will save memory so for t angle and speed we can use since it is a default uh, game maker uh, variable so we will use SPD instead SPD and for now that is all we need the let we can just remove because it is not in game maker Oh yeah, just be sure there is a semicolon here. Without it, it will give an error. This assuming sure is right. That's the case in game make, so we can just delete that. Now let's align these properly. While t is less than the number of rings. Game maker that will be while t is smaller than global.rings. Which we just initialized. I'll just align these properly first. All right. Create a bouncing ring object. This is once again a temporary var variable, so let's initialize it here as var ring ID, which is the uh, bouncing ring we will create ring id equals instance create x y object ring loss set the rings vertical speed to this ring id dot vertical speed v speed equals this and the horizontal horizontal speed is this ring id dot h speed equals this speed will be replaced by SPD and sign this is sin and cos in in game maker if n is true we can just replace that is by this multiply the rings horizontal speed by minus one and with that we do a ring id that h speed times equals minus one so this will multiply it by minus one increase angle by 22.5 angle plus equals 22 plus uh, 0.5 let n is not n in game maker that will be n is exclamation mark n if n is true it will be set to false and if n is false it will be set to true increase t by 1 t plus equals 1 if t equals 16 let spd equals 2 and angle equals 101 Point twenty five. So this should create the rings. But we're not done yet. We need to apply a few codes to Archer Green Loss. Here ring gravity. Rings do not heat the same gravity cause as the sonic task. So that the gravity is a force of this. But yeah, I'm not going to do uh, too specific about that. It also runs at a different FPS, as far as I can tell. So you can just use gravity equals 0 0.1, which will do. It's also a little easier for a gimmick to handle. Ring bounds. When the scatter rings hit the ground, the vertical speed is multiplied by a factor of this. 
Right. So in the step event, we will add another code. If place meeting x y plus vertical speed plus one object solid. So if there is an ob object solid underneath us, vertical speed multiplied by this. All right. When the rings bounce off the floor, that is so imprecise, it's almost embarrassing. Well, yeah, in real Sonic games, they do that. But uh, it's just, like it says here, embarrassing. It's just not what we want. I mean, it was just uh, done because of uh, limitations at the time and to make it run smoother, but we don't need it anymore. And we will also make them collide horizontally. Uh, with walls so that they also bounce off walls uh, instead of just vanishing so here we do if place meeting x plus h speed plus sine h speed sine returns uh, either minus one zero or one uh, it returns minus 1 if h speed is smaller than 0, it returns 0 if h speed is exactly 0, and it returns 1 if h speed is greater than 0. And by that we can basically do this. Because we don't know uh, if the h speed is uh, greater than 0 or smaller than 0, but by any sign we can still have this 1, and it will never be 0. So y object solid h speed times equals minus 0 0.25 uh, alright but this is for object solid but we also have slopes which we also want to bounce it on not uh, horizontally but vertically so or place meeting x y plus vertical speed plus one object solid All right now let's test how this works we have four rings they will bounce off solids properly but not off slopes because I checked object solid here it should be object slope parent of course I don't know why I did that so now it should work Well, they do bounce off it, but they don't really go along with the slopes. So, with that we can do while place meeting x, y, object, slope, parent, y minus equals 1. That way they will move up slopes. Alright. Now we aren't yet done, but we're getting close. All scatter rings are destroyed after 256 steps. Right, so we do that by adding an alarm. Alarm 0 equals 256, and upon alarm 0, we can add a nice effect that it fades away instead of just disappears. Let's see how they do that here. Right, so we also have an another, another variable called can grab, which indicates if we can grab the ring. But on default we cannot. We can only do so after. Let's see what was it? Sixty-four steps. So alarm one equals sixty-four, and 
when alarm one happens, can grab equals true. But when uh, we also add another variable called fade equals false. I will explain that later. But when alarm zero happens, the rings disappear. So can grab equals false because we can't grab them anymore. And fade equals true. We are going to fade them out slowly. Here, if in step event, if you're in a step event, if fade equals true, image alpha minus equals 0 0.1. Image alpha is uh, the transparency which is decreased every time by 0 0.1 so it will slowly fade and if image alpha is smaller or gray, uh, smaller or equal to 0 um, uh, instance destroy then it will destroy itself and when colliding with object sonic if can grab equals true, so only when it's not fading and when it is uh, available to be grabbed. Global dot rings plus equals one, and instance destroy. Let's see how this works. All right. Uh, it works fine, except that this ring counter does reset. Well, that's a little stupid. They didn't include it in this code, but I should have thought of that myself, of course. In player get hit, global dot rings equals zero. Well, no, after this code, because else it won't drop any rings. So here. Alright, it's reset to zero. And I think this works fine. So you can now grab rings and lose them. So thanks for watching guys and if you have any suggestions please leave them in the comment section. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.